nature is as natural as it comes. And when one is pressed, the natural instinct then is to relieve oneself. Well, for so many people around the world, the question where does not arise. But for over one million people, men, women and children who live in this informal settlement, the question where is a predicament they have to deal with every day. kuna shida ya choo wa mnafanyaje inabidi tununue choo kuna watu wamejenga macho zao binafsi sasa tunaenda tuna, tuna tunalipa ndio uende ndani choo yetu iko huko chini eh hey, hata ukienda huko unasashangaa mama mm-hmm. choo ina nini hiyo choo iko na macha, machapo mm-hmm. ukienda huko hata uwe sikuni sio uende huko kama usiku usiakisha kitu uangalie Mkoro tu waende tu na utoe nguvu mtupua haraka fanye nini utoke <laughs> lakini iko na shika mingi sana na watoto si watoto tunawapea poti hmm. tunawapea poti wenyewe tunaenda kunywa huko chini na wewe tuseme usiku ukitaka kwenda kwa choo unafanyaje wewe sienda huko peke yako <laughs> ukienda peke yako nini nakufanyikia hmm? hey. si mahali penye unaweza kupali uende peke yako si wakoro wanaweza kukushika huko kama ni kwenda cho uende mapema juu huko chini tena kuna wakora huko chini wanaweza kurepo oh mari eh nduri himo ana baba kula yako basi ridi ile ni picha ana hivi la rada hapo hapo jo hapo mko ana kana wale wenye bala msiende kuusa umetoka kwa bofu kufanya nini kwa jo kwa nini na kwa jo kwa nini na kwa jo kwa bafu sisi hatuna choo ya kukojoa. Mm-hmm. Inabidi tuende tukojoe kwa bafu mm-hmm. ama tukojoe kwa nyumba kwa kasuku. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, na sasa usiku ndio unakojoa kwa kasuku ama Hata mchana. Kuna ah! <laughs> pupu kwa poti ya mtoto. <laughs> Kama unjapata pale pa kunia, so una poti kwa poti ya mtoto. Hmm. Na mtoto sasa yako wapi? Amelala. No, na mtoto akiwa kwa nyimbo unafanyaje? Sasa so, namwambia toka nje kama ni mchana. Sasa utafanya nini? Ama kwa karatasi? Kisha ni kwa rais. Una pupu wapi? Watakataka. Wapi hapo? Kwa chini. Na kususu na susu wapi? Mkebe. Na usiku ukitaka kupupua ama kususu unafanyaje? Kwa mkebe. Unaenda kumwaga. Unamwaga mavi yako wapi? Kwa siwe chini kwa siwe. Sasa hivi ngojo ikipindipindi ikifuja inaadhiri sana sisi wa mama na watoto. Hata ukiangalia wewe mwenyewe hospitali sana sana wale watu wako huko wengi ni watoto na wamama. Si, wanaume si sana sana. Bafu, mnatumia wanaume na wanawake? Si ndio. Si wote tu wa hii plot yote. Ni kama plot ya plot ya watu ngapi hivi? Karibu 200 hivi. Si hata mimi saa zingine na okay yanga hapo saa zingine kama nimecherewa. Hmm. Naona hivi hakuna acha kongochea mtu atoka huko ndio ni hoke. Na okea hapa. Hmm. Mtu akipita pale apita tu mimi nimeshamaliza kuoka na ingia kwa nyumba. Umelipa pesa gapi ndio uoge kwa hii bafu? Kobole. Kobole. Ndio mm. uoge hapa. Kwa shawa. Kwa shawa. Kuna shawa? Eh. So these are new units, toilets and bathrooms. To have a shower in one of these bathrooms costs at least 5 Kenya shillings and uh, to use the toilet costs 5 shillings as well. Najua katika hii hali tunakaa saa zote wangu anashikwa na TB mara homa ya kila mara nikienda hospitali wananiambia mali unakaa inaonekana hapa kwa pachafu sana si pa safi na nitakana ukae kwa mali kuna hewa safi na hizi mitaro zinapitisha maji chafu hizo mafi makojo kila kitu takataka hizi makaratasi za zenye tunatoa mboga nini nini zote zinamwagwa tu hapa Asa mimi naona sasa tutakuwa na shida nyingi ya nini sana ya usafi. Hygiene yani. 
Lakini mimi naona mtu akiniweka mahali kama kuna maji, kuna hewa safi, kuna cho. Hakuna ati ile overpopulation, unakuwa na nafasi yako mzuri mimi naona. Hata hii udhaifu yenye niko nayo ya mwili inaweza isha. Behind me is part of the population that lives in Kibera. In the course of this story, I got to visit Kibera, Korogosho, Mukuru Kwajenga, all different informal settlements, different locations, but the stories remain the same. Sanitation is the problem that they have to face on a daily basis.